Hey boaters, how's it going? It's Dan and Sean with Freedom Boat Club San Diego. Today we're going to talk about lower units. Two big things today, we're going to tell you about how they work and how they overheat and how you can avoid that. So let's go into it. Number one, we got a Yamaha lower unit bolted to one of the Yamahas here we use in the club. We also have a Mercury lower unit that we pulled off one of the other boats in the club. Uh, right away, when you take a look at the lower unit, you can see that it does have the prop on it. And this is what the major thing that everybody thinks about when they think about a lower unit is it drives the boat. However, most people forget or don't know that the intake for the cooling system is on the lower unit, which is extremely important. Why? You need to keep the engine cool while you're running it. So the water comes in the intake, goes up into the engine, cools the engine, and then leaves. Let's go over to Sean. He's got a uh, lower unit taken apart so you guys can see some of the components. Sean, take it away. Guys, we got the uh, housing here in the impeller. The impeller goes inside the housing, sends water up through the, the tube into the motor, cools it down and sends it back down out the propeller. So when your motor goes into guardian mode or limp mode, depending on a Mercury or a Yamaha, um, the motor has gone to excessive heat. It takes a little while for that to cool down. And if you look at these ports here, they're small diameter hose. That needs to feed your motor to the point where it cools down to 133 degrees Fahrenheit or cooler. So I'm going to send it back to Dan and he's going to show you over here. Yeah, absolutely. It's really important that what Sean said is how the engine can actually overheat. You can see the vents here aren't very big. So if there's any blockage uh, or anything obstructing, the engine will overheat. We've actually seen one of these uh, impellers melt because the obstruction has been there for so long and the engine was running, but these melt and the engine continues to, uh, uh, well, it burns it up and you can't run the engine anymore. So, Guardian mode and limp mode, very, very important. Yamaha, Mercury, other engine manufacturers have put this out there to save us and save you guys from uh, blowing up a motor. What does that mean? Let's say you're out in the ocean, you get some kelp wrapped around the lower unit and it stops the intake. Well, the engine's gonna overheat. However, the computer's gonna take over, shut the engine down into a minimum idle speed until it cools down. Very important. When the engine goes to limp mode or guardian mode, leave the engine running, or if there is an obstruction, go ahead and turn the engine off, remove the obstruction, put the engine back down in the water, turn the engine back on, let the engine cool down, and you won't be able to go back up to speed until it actually reaches what temperature? 133 Fahrenheit or lower. A little bit less than 133 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you're out there, common issue in Southern California is the kelp beds. If you're fishing near the kelp beds or even out there and you see a paddy, get kelp wrapped around the lower unit, your engine goes into limp mode or uh, guardian mode, and you hear those beeps, take a look at your lower, you might have uh, some kelp wrapped around the lower unit. We forgetting anything, Sean? Uh, sometimes obstructions that do get sucked into the intake can stay inside the propel impeller or the housing, so the obstruction can stay there a little longer than needed. So, like Dan said, let's wait for it to cool back down to its temperature and then proceed with our trip. This is a really, really good point when you're beaching a pontoon. If you're beaching one of our pontoon boats, you don't want to suck up a bunch of sand into the impeller. It actually just destroys the impeller, uh, turns this into nothing like sandpaper, uh, and that ruins your day too. So, it's uh, Dan and Sean from Freedom Boat Club San Diego. Appreciate it, Have a it, great guys. day.